Hey friends, thanks for tuning in today to see how I transform my nails into this tortoise shell design. So jumping right into it, we're not going to waste any time. This is an acrylic overlay that I did over my natural nails. I'm really proud this is my first time doing this. But the first thing we're going to do is go in and add a base coat. And the base coat that I'm using today is by the company Madam Glam. The reason I love it is it goes on really easily. It has a nice consistency and it's not too thick. The purpose of a base coat is to help protect your nails, to keep them from weakening from the polish, being damaged and stained. And then I'm going to cure my nails for 60 seconds in my Madam Glam Mini UV Lamp. And I always am sure to add sunscreen just to protect my hand from any of the rays. And then as you can see, I've already painted my thumb and my pinky with a black gel polish. This one is by The Beatles. I will have everything listed down below. I've already done the first coat and cured it off of camera. So this is my second coat. And then after I do this coat, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. And so at my local dollar store, I found a really cool bag of seashells and I like them because I'm able to mix colors. And then once I'm done with my design, I can throw them right in the trash. So what you see me using right now is another shade by the Beatles. A lot of colors that you're gonna see moving forward, they were all in one kit and I will have that link below. And so the color that you see right here is the color that I pretty much want my base coat. But what I'm doing is adding blooming gel to this color and the reason why is one to make it a bit more opaque and so that as we build up our dots in our design it allows the colors to bleed into a way where it has a marble effect and it also helps all of our polishes to level up evenly and not too chunky so now that we've mixed our polish we're going to go in and apply it to our pointer our middle and our ring finger as you can see it's a lot more opaque than it looks as a solid color thanks to that blooming gel. Also only gonna do one coat, a very thin coat, and we're not gonna cure it. So off camera, I started my dot design on my pointer and my middle finger. We are now gonna go in and do the ring finger on camera. I'm using a dotting pin that you see right here, another seashell. The brown color that you see is also in the same kit as the mustard. I'm gonna get a little bit of the polish and I'm gonna go in and begin to create splashes or splodges or dots, no rhyme or reason, just where I kind of want my tortoise dots polka dots, shell dots to sit. And this is going to add to the mustard color, which is why I said don't cure it, because it allows the two colors to bleed together and really create that cohesion as you build the layers. And as we do that, you'll see and understand better. And so after that color begins to bleed, I'm gonna go in and add a reddish brown, which is also in the same Beatles kit into a seashell. And what I'm doing, I'm not adding any blooming gel or anything, just solid polish, but I'm gonna use my mustard color as the base very very thin coat and then I'm going to go in and do the same exact thing that you just saw me do with the light brown and I'm just going to go over top of where the brown is no rhyme or reason still allowing some of the light brown to peek through but beginning to build that dimension and that's what that mustard color is doing every time you add it it goes in it adds a layer it goes in it adds a layer and so it almost appears as if there's a lot of depth to the nail and then you can go in after you put your dots what i like to do is just kind of you know juice them up a little bit after they begin to bleed which i didn't show with the light brown and i do apologize for that so i kind of just pick at them until it starts to give that marble flow and i do want to add that after i do each layer of shell dots i've cured it for 30 seconds and now going in with my second to last color, I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing, this time using a dark brown. And then I'm just gonna build upon the light brown that we have, the reddish brown, and just beginning to add more dimension, flaring that product out, allowing it to self level, allowing it to bleed, and again, create that dimension. And I also, of course, started with that mustard opaque as the base. Once we get our spots, they're gonna go in for another 30 seconds. And then of course, starting with our marble base again, we are going to be using our very last color, which is the black. And this is just to finish it out, which it builds upon the light brown, the reddish brown, the dark brown, and now we have the black. You can see the buildup of the design. You can see the marble effect. You can see how it started to really create and layer. And we are now going to cure this one for 60 seconds. And I just wanna mention the dotting brush that I use and the brushing pen, which you see me using to flare. They all came in a kit, which I will add into my Amazon store. Wow, look at that design, fresh out of the UV lamp, and it didn't even have a top coat on it, just 
glossy. So we're gonna go in and add our Madam Glam top coat in self-leveling. So it's gonna help us just to make sure all of our layers are even and there is no lumps, bumps, humps, and stuff. But this is our final design. I went in and added some cuticle oil, moisturized my hands. I have to say this design was so easy to create. Under 20 minutes and I'm long-winded with my design. So I'm very happy for this to be my first time. I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, meet me down in the comment section. I will be in the back by the snacks. And if you dig me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And God willing, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.